Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Raven and also known as The Water Rose, the person whose YouTube channel you are watching right now. Um, I am starting my She's Got Something to Say series simply because I always have something to say about something and I've just been blessed, you know, with the gift of knowledge and wisdom on a lot of different subjects and the gift of gab too, because I like to talk. So anyway, <laughs> um, the subject that I'm gonna be talking about today is identifying your purpose. I wrote some notes down um, because God always gives me these subjects and these just inklings to talk about certain things. So I just have to jot down what it is that I'm thinking um, and go from there. So anyway, identifying your purpose, it all starts with God. In order to identify your purpose, you must have a relationship with God first. I say that because God is the one who created us and the only one who truly knows what we're created for. We were born by his purpose and he knew what we were going to be before we were formed in our mother's womb. If you look at Jeremiah 1 and 5, it says, Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I had holy plans for you. A prophet to the nations. That's what I had in mind for you. Um, so just think about that. Just truly think about that. We are not here for our own purpose. We are here to do the will of God. And the only way to identify exactly what that is is by simply having a relationship with him. And that is up to you whether or not you want to dig deep enough spiritually to um, be able to find him. Um... God said he'll tell you where to go and you will go there. He said that I'll tell you what to say and you will say it. Don't be afraid of a soul. I'll be right there looking after you. That is God's decree. So just think about it. When you begin to dig deep to understand what your purpose is a lot of us may be afraid to step out there on the limb or be afraid of what the world is going to have to say what our friends are going to have to say what our family are going to have to say but don't worry about any of that because god got you at the end of the day and usually when god is ready to elevate you for his purpose there's going to be a lot of people that's going to be shedding along the way and there's going to be some stages you know, of isolation. So don't ever feel, you know, counted out or um, like you have people coming up against you because it doesn't matter. Guess what? Hey, people hated Jesus himself. So guess what? If they hate Christ, they're going to hate you. But at the end of the day, as long as you're doing God's will, as long as you're being obedient to him, it does not matter what anybody is going to have to say. And with that being said, our purpose is for greater than our own per personal fulfillment. It's not about us. It's simply about doing the will of God. God said, greater is in he that is in you than he that is in the world. Which means God wants us to do a greater work than he did. He wants us to reach more people than he was able to reach. He wants us to be able to bring nations unto him. He wants us to know that we have the authority to cast out anything that doesn't belong. We have the authority. We have the power, you know what I'm saying, to um, bring all people unto him. And that goes along with the lifestyles that we decide to live, which in turn it, you know, goes together with us identifying our purpose. And 
you know, we have to first surrender to him. We have to pray without ceasing. And as long as we are willing to um, just draw closer to God, he'll draw closer to us. God wants you to prosper. He wants you to have abundance, but you must be obedient and you must do what he has called for you to do. You have to yield to God's voice. It says it in Jeremiah 29, 11, which is my favorite scripture that for I know the plans that I have for you, thoughts of good and not of evil, Thoughts to prosper you and not to harm you. Thoughts to give you an expected end. So for God to say that, that means he wants to see you succeed. He wants you to have the best out of life. But we can't have the best out of life if we're not making the proper decisions. Because at the end of the day, God gives us our own free will, you know. But it's up to us to determine and discern what it is that he would really have for us to do. And God is a gentleman. He is not going to force himself on you. He comes to you softly, you know. Um, so he will not force himself on you. Like he, he will give you the free will to, again, to make your own choices and choose your own path. But unfortunately, we decide to choose paths that is not what God truly desires for us. He says in his word to trust in him with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. For in all your ways, if you acknowledge him, he will direct your path. So that means don't lean to your own way of thinking. Our feelings, our emotions, and all of those things are fickle. They change. They're up and down. So at any given moment, we can change our mind. But if we make our mind up about God and who we're going to decide to serve and make our minds up about the fact that we are going to decide to do his will, we won't have to be confused and we won't have to walk in the flesh and we won't have to do the things of the world. Um... And you can confirm that scripture by going to Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So, again, that's where it all starts with God. Let him reveal his true purpose for your life to you. Our purpose is greater than our own ambitions, our own biggest dreams, whatever big plans we may have for ourselves. Our purpose that God has for us is much greater um, and it's times we think we're supposed to do one thing, but God has something else planned for us. And it's always bigger than what our own imaginations can conceive. Guess what? I want to do whatever the will of God is. Why? Because I know it's going to be much greater than what I may be able to do. Because guess what? In life, I depend on God for everything i cling to god to order my steps and because of that i've had so many doors open i have been having blessings left and right that don't even make sense again bigger than enough than what i can conceive and it is real you know um and there's nothing wrong with our own natural gifts and talents like god you know he has blessed us to have those particular things. But at the end of the day, he has designed it for his will and to glorify him, not for our own personal gain and not for our own personal reasons. And it's not for to please man or to please the world. It is to simply please him. So that is all I have um thank you guys for tuning in please do like comment subscribe and again this is my first video you guys will see more of me i'm just getting you know in there getting my feet wet a little bit um but again thank you all for watching and i hope you guys come back for more